to several questions that are really variations on one that have come to me from the Patreon community. The questions really begin as follows. Someone says to me, they recently offered some criticism of capitalism and were told that if you look over the last hundred years, isn't it marvelous that our health has gotten better, our diets have improved, we live longer, and so on. And I wanted to respond to that way of thinking in order to prevent it from shutting people up who have criticisms to make. First of all, over the long span of history, we can show periods of improvement. There were improvements in all kinds of aspects of our lives under primitive tribal economic systems, under slave economic systems, across feudal economic systems, and yes, also across capitalist economic systems. Those improvements, often the result of struggles that people made to achieve them, are not, however, a basis for shutting down criticism. The criticisms of capitalism that we talk about on our programs, for example, and that are in the minds of the Patreon community that sent me their comments, these criticisms can be fundamentally described as follows. They show that the society we live in is not as good for the majority of people as it could be. In other words, the criticisms are about the gap between what we have and what we are capable of providing to ourselves as communities. And the criticism goes precisely to look at the changes we could and should make in the system we have now to get closer to the quality of life that we're capable of producing, but that we don't, in fact, produce. Let me give you a couple of examples. We only give people a job in this society, I'm talking about most people, if an employer sees a profit in hiring us. In other words, we're kind of held hostage to profiteering. If an employer sees profit for himself, he'll hire workers. And if he doesn't, he won't. The ability of workers to work is thus dependent on profiting. Well, that's a very nice system for the profiters. They can call the shots around what's best for them. But what's good for profits may not be what's good for the rest of us. I think most folks would agree that a full employment economy, an economy that gives everybody who wants and needs a job, not only a job, but a decent income, and the knowledge and the good feeling that comes from doing something useful for the community while earning your own income. We have plenty of things to do in this society, Lord knows. We need, to revolutionary, uh, we need revolutionary changes in our ecological situation, work that needs to be done to be less of a bad partner to Mother Nature than we have been. We need lots of work to rebuild our cities. We need lots of work to take care of the elderly who have lived a hard life and a working life and need to have a decent retirement. We need lots of work to take care of young children so they get a nurturing environment and so their parents are free to lead good adult lives while their children are safely and effectively cared for. We can make the lists of what needs to be done. And we have more than enough wealth to give everybody a decent job and a decent income doing what we will all benefit from. But we don't have that because profit dictates who gets hired and for what. And that's a problem and a critique of that gap between what we could have and what we do have is what the critique of capitalism is focused on. And there is no answer to it by pointing out that it could be worse and 
50, 100 years ago it was. That's looking backwards to rationalize and justify when we should be looking forward to make a better world for ourselves and our children right now. This is Richard Wolff speaking to the Democracy at Work Patreon